Uh, hey, YouTubers. I thought I'd come and give a quick lesson. I want to talk a little bit about the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and the super conscious mind. I'm still reading from this book that I got from uh, metaphysics uh, class. Just going to read a few paragraphs because this is a pretty, pretty in-depth lesson and I could tell you what I know, but it, I wouldn't be as thorough as what I need to be. I could tell you what the way I understand it, but uh, we'll read it <laughs> just for the sake of safety, okay? Okay, <clears throat> there are three divisions of the mind. The great majority consciously use only one of these, the conscious mind. Few people understand the messages given in dreams, yet dreams are communication from the inner subconscious mind to the outer conscious mind. We have proof that the we have proof of the value of our subconscious mind every night as we learn to remember, record, and interpret our dreams. No reasoning thinker would want to go through life with one hand tied behind his back. Yet when we close off the inner mind, this is exactly what we do. You deserve to use your whole mind and whole self. In order to use your whole mind, you will have to give up something. Let's say that again. <laughs> In order to use your whole mind, you will have to give up something. You will need to give up your conscious limitations. As more and more of the total mind is used, you will recognize it as a mankind's right and duty to understand the total self. Hmm, you will have to give up something. Hmm, you will need to give up your conscious limitations. I guess because we've just been thinking with um, one portion of our brain, really. Okay, I'm going to read one more paragraph. Um, we will also present knowledge and information to you in this lesson concerning the superconscious mind. For this division of mind is your connecting link with all of creation. Your superconscious mind provides the urge for you to move forward toward becoming an enlightened creator. Hmm. Okay, it's coming back to me. And I read this today, and I guess I didn't read out loud. That's, I'm going to start reading out loud so I can hear myself say it. Okay, the conscious mind is in direct contact with the brain. Your brain is an organ of your body, just as your heart or liver are organs of your body. Your brain has a physical function which is to receive and store information. This information can be drawn upon when the thinker desires. By accessing the correct computer code of the brain, specific pieces of information from prior experiences are brought to the forefront of the mind's attention. The conscious mind is similar to a computer programmer, and the brain is similar to the computer. The conscious mind is similar to a computer programmer. Hmm. Wow. Uh, let's see where that stop. By accessing your computer's computer code of the brain, Specific pieces of information from prior experiences are brought to the forefront to the mind's attention. Okay, I read that. Okay, the conscious mind 
in conjunction with the brain takes care of your physical body during the waking hours. Through years of building habits and being engrossed in sensory experiences, the conscious years of building habits and being engrossed in sensory experiences, the conscious mind tends to overpower and dominate the inner minds. Hmm. When this occurs, the conscious mind will have little recognition of the true inner self. Man, that's funny. I, I'm remembering some of this, but um, I, this is the way I, I, I put it in my mind. The the conscious mind, I call it the lower self. The subconscious is the middle, and the superconscious is the higher self. And to me, the higher self is the God portion of, I'm going to use myself uh, for an example. That's the, the God portion of myself. And the conscious mind is me, my physical body, the one that feels pain, the, the one that has emotions. And I have to have that conscious mind to move in this physical body. The subconscious mind, the middle self, is the self... Let me see how this says it. See, I'm skipping around. Okay, they said the conscious mind is direct contact with the brain. Okay, I said that. That's the physical. That's me and the physical. That's the brain that feels and emotions. It says you are not the body, neither are you the conscious mind. These are vehicles you use in order to experience this earthly classroom. Vehicles you use to experience this earthly classroom. Hmm. Okay, this is a classroom. Right? Sometimes we forget that, though. They are con they are temporary. Therefore, use each vehicle to the fullest and to the highest good, which is to produce permanent learning or understandings. These understandings can then be stored in your subconscious mind. Okay, this is a, I guess if you, mm, yeah, it makes sense, but I had a book about the, uh, that I read along with this, and it was a book that they gave us, and I don't, I don't know what I did with it, but it uses, it says the conscious mind, they gave the conscious mind a name, his name was George, or if you're a woman, Georgette, and George, in my case, Georgette, was, was to go through a series of uh, tasks, uh, Things that you had to train this mind to do, and and the mind, the conscious mind, has to be able to obey commands and be um, under control of the middle self, because there's a hierarchy. You have the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and the superconscious mind. So. They have to uh, go through each other very seldom. And, and the subconscious mind, the higher self, does not go uh, around the middle self and tell the lower, the conscious mind what to do. We get all our commands from the middle self, if, you, if that makes sense. But... This is going to be, okay, it says the subconscious mind is the residence of your soul. The subconscious mind, the middle self. 
is a resident of your soul. This is the part of yourself that is re retained from lifetime to lifetime. So the reincarnated self. Huh. The learning, knowledge, wisdom, and love you build in this lifetime will be stored in your subconscious mind for future for future use in other lives or beyond if this is your final incarnation in the physical plane. Hmm. The subconscious mind is where you exist during sleep each night. It's where you exist during sleep each night. Hmm. It is also the precognitive and intuitive part of self. Really? Through the use of this subconscious mind, an individual may have access to insights, perception, and intuition available by means commonly associated with five senses, brain, and day-to-day -day world. The common is what is considered normal, for it has been accepted by the majority as truth. By exploring and using more of your whole self, you will expand your awareness for, of truth by using your five senses and your sixth sense, thus developing supernormal abilities. The subconscious mind becomes an effective tool for you to use when your conscious mind is disciplined. Oh, that's the word discipline. Yeah, it has to be disciplined. The conscious mind it has to be disciplined, providing a firm foundation on which to explore, understand, and apply the inner mind. Wow, I don't need to go any further than that. <laughs> oh man. This is cuz I'm I'm getting kind of perplexed myself. But I just have to remember the middle self which is the subconscious mind. The lower self is the conscious mind. And the higher self is a super conscious mind. I guess uh, what I'm trying to do is uh, go uh, do my regular, the way I normally do is skip. And I want to, I want to read about this super conscious mind all at once. I, I, that's the impatient part of me. But I'll. Uh, Look, this is a lesson I have to go very slowly. And I, I read it, but like I said, I didn't read it out loud. So I should have read it out loud, but I still, the key is to remember. And yes, that was a time when I did remember that the, the, the lower self, and I guess if I said the, the lower self, the middle self, and the higher self. That's just the way I have it in my mind. But it's still the same thing. But anyway, that's all I want to talk about today, guys. I'll be back as soon as I understand what I'm talking about. Bye.